Because the two schools have a different number of students, it's not appropriate to compare the raw counts, so let's look at the relative frequencies. To do that, let's take the 63 students who play baseball and divide it by the total number of students at Crescenta Valley High School, 2,786. Now we can see that about 2.3% of the students at Crescenta Valley High School play baseball. Let's do that with the other five numbers. For our graphical display, we're going to go with a side-by-side -side bar graph to compare participation in these sports at the two schools. Since our maximum sport participation is 7.8%, we need to make sure our Y, our vertical axis, goes at least that high. For baseball, we see about 2.3% of the students play at Crescenta Valley versus 6.2% at St. Francis. For swim and track, we also have different participation rates. And this can all be shown in our side-by-side -side bar graph. Next, we'll make a key and add some color. That will make our comparisons a little easier to see. We can see that baseball is more popular at St. Francis, with about 6.2% of the students participating, as opposed to about 2.3% at Crescenta Valley. To figure out how many students play tennis at St. Francis, we need to take the total number of students, 612, and multiply it by 3.6%. Now we didn't get an integer, and that's because they probably rounded the 3.6%. So let's just go with 22. That's the most likely number of students who play tennis at St. Francis. In the last problem, let's start by finding out how many students swim at the two schools. It turns out 107. Of those 107, 15 are from St. Francis. If we look at this fraction, we can see about 14% of the students who swim from the two schools are from St. Francis. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.